Okay, we'll see if this works. Uh, hi guys, AC93, there's one for the Rock Wolf map. Two, uh, World Tanks game, I guess. Not a replay, actually, I'm gonna do some live gameplay, but I'm going to do an overview first. So here we have the Ice Force, my newest toy. <coughs> yeah, I got through the SDI. And I don't think I put a single video of it up. Maybe one. Maybe one. But, um, yeah, IS-4. And frankly, I'm kind of disenchanted with it, because... 140 at the front. 160 at the side. And 100 at the rear. Uh, turret is great, but there's a bit of an issue, and that's the fact that, um... Well... This thing constantly gets pinned. Let's say you angle at 45 degrees. That means that this beveled edge is pretty much facing straight towards the enemy. Okay? Alright, so, with that angle, this is all 292. Ah, uh, that's pretty much auto ricochet. Um, and this lower plate, auto ricochet. So, yeah, all this is a great angle. This stuff, 258, 260, 270. So, you know, if you want to be at a slightly steeper angle, maybe. Let's do that. So now you have 300 all around. Over here, well, now it's dropped down to 263. And this side is only 250. If you shoot through the tracks, 280, and right above the tracks, ranges from 230 to 300. Lower plate, 330. So, let's say face on. Now these beveled sides are pretty much auto bounces. Auto bounce, auto bounce. Yeah, straight on. The upper plate, all of the upper plate, none of it gets above 230. Lower plate is thicker than the upper relations. So let's angle it about. Let's angle at this angle. Let's say that you have this thing pointing straight at the enemy. This is all about 270, 260, so this is pretty good. Impenetrable. 230. 270. The IS-4 does not have very good armor, and the entire reason why is because... Yeah, it's supposed to be the most heavily armored of the Tier 10 Soviet heavies. The problem is the fact that with how it's angled, if you want these not to be penned, straightforward. If you want that not to be penned, well, you gotta angle pretty much like this, really. So this is all. This is still only 250, and this is now 230. Lower plate, pretty hard to pen. Really, you gotta go hold down. So let's say you have, you're able to hide pretty much all of this. Okay, you just shoot here. So you angle about this much. 230, 270. Give it a bit more of this. 250, 230. The armor just doesn't. And then let's say you had like a mouse shooting at you. So that guy shoots at you from here. This butter, lower plate ricochet, but you aren't going to shoot the lower plate because you can see the top of the turret. At the top of the turret is 30 millimeters thick. It's only 75 there, and the hatches are 140. So just shoot there, 160. Shoot there, 43. Say this was actually a mouse shooting at you. That's a 120 millimeter gun. Let's get our 120. 38, 159, 149. Even in a tank that's about this low, 120 mm guns are still pretty common. Common, even speaking. 50 millimeters thick. And this is only. Let's look at something that's as tall as the IS-4. Let's say gun to gun. 56. Shoot in the hatch. 300. Perfect. Shoot it right here. Ricochet. But you still have this, and this is actually quite a short tank. But I'll boot up. Enough complaining. Um, other things. This looks like a weak spot. It isn't. That's a 200mm thick plate right above it. 140. If we go to the STI, it is just a flat 200 thick thing. I resolve this is, you know. So, technically, it is better armored than the STI, but uh, still. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. We'll see how it goes. We will just have to see how it goes. So, um, I'm going to beat up World of Tanks. We'll go ahead and play a few games. I uh, will see you there. Okay, guys. Uh, here I am in the garage. Uh, it's changed around a little bit. Let's see my clan now. Let's see if he's online. Sure, yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is the SM50 tone. Uh, but here is the IS-4, and as you can see, it is quite a short tank. We'll compare this to the Object 430. 
object 430 will put that okay so we'll say it's just below that rail is4 pretty much at that rail it's not very much that, that rail I'm referring to well, I guess it's a shelf um it, it's not a very it's a it's a quite a short tank and that's you know it's nice good camo right right and uh, it I don't know gun depression doesn't matter so much or some I hide behind better smaller piles of rubble sure sure I can see the benefits. But the issue is the fact that an E100 or mouse goes up to, let's say, here. If not taller, let's see this thing goes up to. Yeah, I mean, look, this is tall. It's an archer Um, But, no, archer is yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, those might go up to, like, here. That means that when you are pretty close to them, yeah, sure, they can't pen your lower plate because they're looking at it like this. But all of this turns into about 140 millimeters thick, and they can shoot into the top of turret. And I can speak. So, yeah, I'm rather disenchanted with this thing. Other than that, uh, equipment, I have a vertical stabilizer, vents, gun rammer, reload, snapshots, all of the above. So, you know, mm, eh. where these guys actually, yeah, okay, these areas are extra trained. So, with this setup, 9.91 uh, actual reload, you don't have any, pro you won't have a problem with the um, weight limit. And uh, you can fit the D25T with 175 millimeters penetration, but uh, let's be honest, if you really have to use the D25T and you're going to meet tier 10, so it's only going to be grinding out the stock gun on the STI or the uh, KV4. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to go into a battle on this thing and we'll see how it goes. <coughs> so, yeah. Other than that, it's been three weeks since I uploaded a video, so I apologize for that. But, uh, Christmas got me lazy, so I had to get out of the, the funk. When this thing gets good maps, it's pretty good, but it, this isn't, this is not what I would describe as a very good map. However, matchmaking is pretty good. Uh, they have an E100, T125, 50 sound heavy, all of which I can pen with relative ease. M103, yeah, easy enough. 62A, as long as they don't flank me. I'll be going over there, obviously. Uh, pretty decent matchmaking, actually. There's only four tier 10s. So, uh, that's nice. It's always nice. Because tier 9s do have a relative, pretty difficult time penning this. Because it is about as armored as an uh, uh, STI in the front. And it's better armored on the sides. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I was googling it. I, I googled some things earlier today, and according to, well, frame rate, uh, according to many people, the better angle is 30 degrees. So rather than that, more like that. So we'll see. We will see. Yeah. So uh, interestingly, um, I did put up a KV1 video on the channel as my want sound test and uh now i'm putting up as my welcoming back from the new year this is4 so look at that only took me about half a year to grind up the meat of the line which is not bad <coughs> i suppose but yeah yeah but yeah yeah I'm, I'm not very good in this thing i don't think i have a mastery yet so a V will see. A V, a V will see. We don't have that much support here, so I'm not gonna push up too much. Let's just kind of see what we can count. Yeah, I'm gonna three. Okay, uh, just kind of push out over here. They don't have any top tier tank stars, thank God. Feels like I'm getting stuttering, which I don't like, but you know. Okay, well he. Pfft, wow, that poor I'm one of three. I just zoom in. Oh, okay, something. Yep, waffle. No shot on the waffle, but there's an E100 coming, so I'm just going to come over here. Angle. He will. Uh, I'm going to shot the food that I've ever said. Let's push up here. Um, I want that 57 heavy to come up. You know, waffles. Let's see. Yep, he penned me in the upper, lower, meaty area. 124 and 57 heavy, I would really much, very much enjoy, uh, god, there we go, that, 
He's gonna pen me. He's gonna pen me. Yeah, he's gonna pen. Okay, well, I have better reload than him. He's gonna sit here. Hopefully put another shot into his tracks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and angle like this. This should hopefully give us a nice... Ah, uh, bounce his lower plate. But he bounced me. So there... That, that, and there's... I can't even see that waffle tracker. and He's right there, so... And he's just putting shot after shot through my uh, tracks. Now he bounced as well, so, you know, mix it up. Okay, so he's actually going to push around. That freaking waffle! That's why I get really pissed off with this thing, is because all those tier 9 tank stars can... I'm not going to pen him from that angle. I might pen him from that angle, but no, I'm not going to pen him from that angle. Okay, right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn like this. And he's just going... Oh, no, okay, I'm, I'm amazed he did not pen that. Uh, turret ring? Right there. No, that just... Didn't go anywhere. Wow, that was terrible. Accuracy on this gun, not great, not terrible, but, you know, it trolls you. Like every Russian heavy. Really want to know where that, uh... That waffle is... <sighs> Jesus, he must have, like, a full camo crew or something, because that's ridiculous. He was able to sit right behind that bush, and he was still firing at me. Because you don't lose the camo value. Angle, because I don't want that guy to... Oh, well, now I can... Okay, load HG. That's why I carry HE on this tank, it's because I like to shoot waffles with it. They are at our base. Sadly. I'm not too worried about a Panther 88. But he can damage me. Now, yeah, okay, that guy's just gonna put a shot into my lower. Oh, well, not if he fires. Only 231 didn't really aim that very well. Oh, well, now he's dead. Again, Panther 88, not, don't have to worry about him too much, but artillery is now going to be a bit more of a factor. Only 1500 damage, not a, again, I, I don't have good games in this tank, I really don't. Uh, that Panther 88, I might get a shot at, and no. I think I'm going to have to go down the uh, middle. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I don't know where that artillery is, and I would really enjoy killing it. Oh, Type 61 is now a... Okay. That's something we'll have to look out for. D49, right there. I shot him. Oh, Lorraine, Lorraine, right. Let's turn this puppy around and get over there. Very good shot on that guy. I don't know what that Lorraine is trying to accomplish. It's not... ah, well, there's the phone. Great. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's going to keep ringing. Ah, and now it's gone. So, great. Good for me. Uh, right, so, this, there's artillery. You sneaky bugger. He's an average roll for me. And I got an average roll. Always nice when that happens. Alright, so now there's just, uh, Fiji 3, Fiji 5, and Type 61. Skirt, a fire, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Stalin! And I am now... Oh, that guy's dead. T49 after him, he's dead. He's so dead. Yeah, I can't even shoot him. He's so dead. Just so dead. If only I played smarter, but, you know... Oops, you know, so not a terrible game in the IS4. Not great. Well, I say not great. I don't have good games since then. I have a terrible survival ratio, actually. So, yeah. Uh, yeah look at that steel wall. Great, whatever. Uh, 17 grand made, 2342 experience, 4 next 2. Yeah. Pretty bad on the team. I really don't enjoy this thing that much. I, like, I didn't even do that great in damage. So, yeah. 4730 black fire armor. Meh. I don't really like this tank. I... I like the STI more, and I think that's because of the gun depression. And the turret. The turret was better on the STI. Uh, so we'll play another game, but, uh... 
I believe that phone call may have been for me, so I'm going to have to go ahead and check that. And I will see you guys in a second. Horrible tank one more time. Yeah. There will be cuts in this video. Cuts, cuts galore. I'd like a city map where this thing can actually be slightly effective. Or, you know, El Haloof, where there's side scraping. Oh, and it's okay, that'll work. But look at the, there's so many more. Tier 10s, and theirs are all better than ours, so, yeah. <coughs> right. And they also have a tier 9 platoon, which is ridiculously good. So I will push the city, because that's all I can do. And I'll hope I get support by our three men, Yagpanzer 100 and 123 platoon, which are all very good tanks in the city. Of course, because I just said that, uh, they're just going to push down this line, completely troll it, and then we'll get tapped out, because they have a bad chat. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What annoys me about this tank is the fact that when you side scrape, which you know, you do, because it's a heavy tank, and it's Russian, and it should be good at it, 160 side, 140 front. Now, uh, the problem is, whenever you do that, uh, they just bend your little bevel sides. Or your engine deck. Somehow. Yeah, they, they bend your engine deck. Because. Stupid freaking phone. Because reasons! God, I'm so tired. So tired. Just ignore the phone. Okay, well, there's no one there yet, so uh, should I push up? No, I really shouldn't, but uh, screw it, I will. Why not? What's the worst that can possibly happen? Angle, 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 angle. 54, right there. Didn't get a shot at me, though. That's fine. Let's see where these people are. Side scrape a bunch. Get a shot of that bat chat, maybe? No. It's probably, it's probably just gonna, yeah. I did actually have a shot on that guy, didn't I? There's 57 enemy. Oh, great. Only reason why that didn't go through is because he used heat on my tracks, because he's stupid. So, yeah, great, E100. So, I guess I just face hug this guy and took. Oh, two fifty seven on my side now, so yeah. You know, if someone could actually shoot these people, that would be excellent, but why would they ever shoot them? Of course the fact that I just bounced all those shells from the sky is pretty great. Or convenient, I should say. Ah great, E one hundred. Awesome. And he's just gonna pen me because screw me. Oh god, and now okay. Okay, they can take care of that guy. I need to side scrape against this, easy. against this E100 even. He's getting me the side of his turret. Sure. Yeah. Uh, as long as someone actually goes after that freaking Borsig, uh, I can pen his little turret. Actually, if I just broke it. oh my god, really? Jesus Christ! No, of course no one's gonna go after the Borsig. Why on earth would they go after the Borsig? Uh, angle for the Tiger 2. Shoot the Tiger 2. Continue to angle in vain, of course, because, you know, Borsig, no one wants to shoot him. It'd be great if someone would shoot him, but no one's going to. Can I see you, Tiger? Because if I can see you, you're doing it wrong. No one's on my flank. Borsig's about to pop up and give me butt sex. Or side uh, no, Borsig's dead. Thank God! Jesus, are already. Okay, 254 is right there, can't shoot me. Oh no, well, I can shoot him in the tracks and back off because I don't want to be. Okay, no, actually, he's not really paying attention to me. Right there. E100 is backing off because of an I7, which is actually something that he would be expected to back off against. Uh, pro probably has shots at me, huh? Oh. Where is he? Come on, back up a little bit. There you go, son. Oh, you prick. Eh, <sighs> 3400 damage. That's <laughs> okay, I suppose. This guy is so screwed. It's not even funny. Mm, great. Game's over. Awesome. Terrible game. Oh, God. I, I really... Oh, yeah. I 
I do not like this thing much at all. But, you know. It's a win. I suppose. So yeah, that was the IS-4. First class of mastery, spotter, fire for effect, hand of god, steel wall. 73 grand, 1513 for a win, finally. Top of the team, 3400 down, 2009 base experience, eh, blah 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 blah, 10 hits, sorry, 10 fired, 9 hits, 8 pens, have pen on the, non-pen on the 125, or whatever, only 2410 damage blocked by armor, 3, 3, whatever, 300 made, 75 for experience, 42% chance to win, yeah, great, whatever, yeah, it, you know, it works, but it doesn't work enough that it's actually, you know, decent. There's even shell traps that they just shoot right there, go straight into the, uh, to, uh, the hull roof. So. <coughs> yeah, anyway, crew skills. I went for Brothers in Arms, repairs, and then, uh, six cents, because it's always useful. Snapshot, snapshots. Offer a driving, so you can just go a bit faster. And I believe Adrenaline Rush, because, uh, well, you know, I, I never seem to actually do well in this thing. I always seem to run out of HP, so, you know, yeah, 40% win rate, as far as after experience, I think it's, yeah, yeah, it's below, wow, I have a, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, this is terrible win rate, but, well, I, I have a decent, that, yeah, 35% better, so, terrible, only, what, yeah, 1900 average damage, which is, god, absolutely, Terrible. Um, 0.87 damage, 0.87 destruction, 1.2 states armor, use efficiency. Maximum damage for battle is only 4,300. Maximum experience is only 1,700. Maximum destroyed is only 4. So, you know, we're kind of tucked in on this thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, uh, give it a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Tell me why. Feedback's always appreciated. To make his non-crap. Uh, moving on. I hate the IS-4. You might not. Your mileage will and may vary. May and will. I don't know. See you guys later. Goodbye. Speaking. <laughs>